Hi guys, Steve here. I'm going to show you the tech bow, how to use it, and test it against level 150 Rexes. If you go to your engrams, type in bow, you can get it at level 116. You'll take 75 cementing paste, 100 crystal, 60 element, 200 metal, and 225 polymer to make. To make its ammo, you need element shards in your inventory. Some arrows cost more shards to make than others. Right, let's get on with a bow. Equip it and then hold down R. This will bring up a menu wheel. The firing mode's in yellow text. Let's just switch between the arrows going straight forward or arcing down as a travel over a distance. Then you can choose between explosive arrows, metal, flame or trank arrows. With a firing mode on instant hit showing, all your arrows keep travelling forward in a straight line. I'll shoot them off into the distance. Keeps on travelling straight with no dip. Okay, press R and bring up the menu wheel again. Then with a the mode showing as projectile, when you shoot an arrow, they start dipping down as they travel over a distance. Projectile mode works like normal arrows and dips down, and these can damage structures, where instant hit mode fires more like bullets that don't damage structures. I'll right, open the menu wheel again, select explosive arrows and your bow will go red. Hit the floor and the arrows explode. Next we have metal which you've seen which are blue arrows, look more like energy than metal. Then we have flame arrows, set things on fire. Then we have trank arrows, you can knock creatures out with, and these are very effective. Then you can tap R to switch between all the different types of arrows, saves you going to the menu wheel. Alright, I'm just going to switch firing mode back, and go to the vault, get more element. Right, for each test I'll be using 5,000 elements, so you can see how much different arrows cost. Here we have a line of a level 150 Rexes. For the first Rex I'll be on instant hit mode, and on the second Rex I'll be shooting it with projectile, see if there's any damage difference. And you can see how many arrows we can make in the bottom left. So we start off with 1,000, and the more you draw the bow back, the more damage it does. That's how much damage it's done after five hits. I'll draw the first one back fully. Then do fast fires on the other. You can see it does less damage. It does a good rapid fire amount of shots. go, Rex is dead, and that only used 156 element shards. The damage will vary, depends if you pull the bow all the way back, or if you do a faster rapid fire technique. Right, I'm going to reset the element shards, put those back and put new ones in. So I've got the same amount of shards before. But this time I'm going to use a different firing mode. Projectile, draw it back. Still can fire it pretty quickly. At this range, to be honest, it makes virtually no difference. I'm not seeing any huge difference in damage. Still doing the same as instant hit. Last time we had 969 arrows left. Health's almost down. There we go, it's dead. And I only took two more arrows, probably because I pulled the bow back less on this mode and did more rapid fire. Yes, yeah, so the amount of shards it's used is almost identical. Would have hoped you got a bonus boost with different modes, but it looks like you don't. 
So if the damage is the same, I'll just use one mode on the other types of arrows. Now we're on explosive. Wow, those dip down a bit. They seem much heavier for some reason. Okay, let me switch your mode to instant hit. There we go, that's better. Seems to be doing the same amount of damage in a different firing mode again. There's five hits. It does less initial damage, but you also get explosion damage as well. So it's around the same, plus you get an explosion damage with dinosaurs around it. But a blast radius isn't that big. If you're shooting one dinosaur in a group, you'd get one next to it. Or if you're shooting at somebody and miss and hit the floor, you'd also get them. These arrows take a hell of a lot more element to fire. There we go, it's dead. Wow, those explosive arrows took 3,120 element to make. With all that element, we could have made 62 explosive arrows. We ended up with only 23 left of them. Right, I'll reset that element again. Make sure we've got the same on each test. There we go, all set. This time we're using fire arrows. Leave the narcos to last. Nine elements make each arrow. Burning away nicely. Now I could shoot and wait for each fire to go out, but that'll take too long. So I'm going to shoot, wait a little while, and then shoot again while it's still on fire. It does a lot less initial damage. Then you've got a fire tick, making it do more damage overall. really good at taking out Rexes. Some toasty Rex meat. It's cooking away. His health's going down nicely. dead and uh, we've got quite a lot of element left we only used 319 element there we started off with 500 arrows and we're down to 468 refresh your element again this time we'll be using narco arrows to knock it out let's see how much one arrow does it's a shooter and it goes down pretty fast after you stop firing. Shoot it a few more. Shoot it in its ass. Top is climbing. Still climbing. Because you can fire these really quickly, you can get loads of shots in, so the top keeps going up as it counts each one. Still going up. There we go, stopped, going back down again. Okay. Let's carry on. If you're shooting it with a long neck, you'd have to wait ages for each reload. There's zero waiting here. What we've got to do is pull the bow back. Should 
to its ass. Hasn't done much damage. Top is over halfway. Used a fair bit of element. Well, it's going to take a while for that to go up, so I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Two and a half minutes later, and it's just stopped. Came back down. Let's carry on. Almost there. Does that one is going to be knocked out? Let's turn in. There we go. We have one knocked out Rex. We used 1,540 elements. We started with 250 knockout arrows. And we ended up with 173. Because element shards are so easy to get on Genesis 2. When you get one of these, you'll easily be able to knock anything out with virtually no cost. So we only used 73 narco arrows on the tech bow. And I'm going to do a very quick comparison of how many a long net will take with trank darts. I'm also going to time it. I've got 100 darts here, plus 10 in reserve. I'm going to start shooting and skip forward to the end. It only took four and a half minutes to knock a level 150 Rex out with a tech bow. That's four and a half minutes and 73 arrows. But it took over double the time, nearly nine and a half minutes, to do it with a long neck and trank darts, which it took 103. So you're not saving too much on the projectiles you're shooting. But farming element shards is way easier than making trank darts. But the biggest saving you'll get is with time. As with a tech bow, you'll be knocking stuff out in half a time than you would with a long neck. You can also use a tech bow underwater. So you can kill stuff. Or knock it out and tame it. So this thing will probably end up being the best taming equipment you could use. That's how you use a tech bow, guys. Let me know in comments below if I've missed anything. If this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.